uh, Supreme Court, there are about seven cases that we have been waiting for, for the Supreme Court to announce. Um, one regards uh, Trump's financial records. Uh, one regards um, the constitutionality of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and its funding mechanism, which is divorced from Congress. They fund itself via fees from banks, which has left it at least somewhat autonomous from a Republican Congress that wants to destroy it. Obviously, uh, when uh, a Republican controls the executive branch, they can put someone like Mick Mulvaney in there and, and attack it that way, but structurally still protected. Uh, there's a case that we are anticipating on the question of DACA. There is a case about an abortion uh, uh, law in Louisiana that is clearly a trap law, but we're going to see if trap laws are now okay. Trap laws being laws that are specifically structured to make it almost impossible to get an abortion, if not in practice, impossible. The court has ruled on this in the past, a case in Texas, but it's a different court now. There's also a, a case regarding faithless electors that is um, in the context of the Electoral College. Can um, Electoral College voters cast their ballots for someone who did not win a majority of their state's popular vote? That's the question there. Religious exemption from discrimination suits? Just a question of whether uh, if you claim that you're religious or uh, pass some type of religious test, whether you can do things that are discriminatory and without any type of accountability. And the final one was one that we got a, a report on or we got a ruling that this morning. I mean, just moments before the show started. Um, and, you know, I have not had a chance to, to read into the decision, but... Um, it is a 6-3 decision, and the top line is this. The Civil Rights Act of 1964, Title VII, bars job discrimination because of sex and uh, race, religion, I think marital status, and today the Supreme Court found and, and prior to this, understand that there was no protection. And this also exists in the context of housing. And I don't know if this uh, decision involves housing as well. I got to look into that. It appears to be um, a job discrimination, but I'm, but I'm not sure. I, I just haven't had a chance to read the, uh, the whole thing. And we're, we're going to talk, obviously, to, to an expert on this. But prior to this, I don't think many people knew this. In the vast majority of state, no, vast majority, at least half, I think, of the states in this country, you could be fired from your job because you were gay, period. That was yesterday. Unless your state had a specific statute that said you cannot be fired because of your sexual orientation, you could be fired if your boss finds out that you're gay and it's like, I don't like gay people, you're fired. Well, now there is a federal constitutional prohibition, or I should say a statutory, federal statutory prohibition, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which prevents the firing of people because of their sexual orientation or whether they're transgender. So this is a big deal. This is a really big deal. It is, um, I don't even know how to absorb good news these days, but um, it's great news and uh, worthy of celebration. Meanwhile, the Trump administration just two days ago, I think on Friday, reversed a ban that had been put in place by the Obama administration of healthcare providers discriminating against people because they're LGBTQ. In other words, I, uh, as uh, in, in my religion, I don't uh, believe that, uh, that I believe that it's a sin to be gay. And I also am a doctor or I'm a pharmacist uh, and I refuse to treat this person. I don't care. I work in an ER, but I don't care that this person needs their uh, insulin. Just not going to do it. And 
the Obama administration issued a ban on um, on discrimination on those grounds by healthcare providers. Donald Trump has reversed it in an attempt to shore up his uh, evangelical base. So there it is. Uh, but the good news is there is a, and, and it's unclear at this point, at least to me, um, how, how broad the implications of what the Supreme Court ruled in regards to the Civil Rights Act um, will be. It is hard to imagine that the Civil Rights Act says you can't uh, discriminate um, based upon sexual orientation in the context of uh, hiring or firing, but not in terms of housing or not in terms of providing people medical service. If so, uh, we will see. And uh, we will we will be talking to somebody about this Supreme Court case and others uh, probably this week and probably again next week, depending on when these cases come out. So uh, good day.